Hey everybody, welcome to Gumba TV. Hey guys. Sponsored by Hobbit Japan. Uh, it's a very important episode we have. It is very important, yes. Yeah, we got a big announcement. Very big. And uh, before we get into that, uh, Ryan, what are you going to show later on today? I'm going to talk about the SDF1, which I've made some progress on, and I have nice. something big to show you. Cool. But it's a surprise. All right. And yes. that's it. I'm going to bask in the glory that is the uh, real great freedom now that I'm all done with the panel lights. It's blindingly beautiful. It is phenomenally great. Yeah. But speaking of phenomenally great, we have something important to discuss. Yes. We have the big sci-fi competition. That is it. Yeah. And this is sci-fi. This is not just Gundam. This is any yes, sci-fi model. Yes, Machine shape. and Krieger, Macross, what else? Uh, what do we got here? Scope Dog, I mean, Vodum. Star Wars, Star, Star Trek, Wars, Gundam, of course. Evangelion, any Armored kit Core, you put Zoids, together. Yeah. anything you've seen here on the show. Yeah. So it's open to everyone. Love, love. Yeah. So uh, we got some categories to announce. Yes, some we do. Some rules to go over and some prizes to discuss, which is, of course, what everybody wants to. Okay. Well, I better read this, okay? Entries will be accepted from Monday 5th of December 2011 through Monday 5th of March 2012. Alright, so you got uh, three months. Any submissions after the 5th? Eh, eh, eh. Mm -hmm. And uh, contestants can only enter one category. Okay. So if you're... Oh, we'll get into the categories. Yeah. So let's get into the categories. Yeah, let's, let's go with the categories. Okay, so we'll start with beginner category. I'll tell you what the okay. prizes are. Uh, first prize, up to three kits of a combined value of 10,000 yen. 10,000 yen? Yes. It's like 100 bucks. More than 100 bucks. More than 100 bucks. And this is like, uh, this is the beginner category. For yeah, and we, of course, we'll take care of the shipping. It's like a, a master grade, a couple of master grades, maybe some HDs thrown in there. Yeah, Machine and Krieger. Yeah. Other sci-fi kits. Yeah, I just, I think Gundam. Gundam is my monetary <laughs> okay. value. Second, up yeah. to three kits of a combined value of 6,000 yen. Yeah, second place winner. Uh, third place, up to two kits of a combined value of 3,000 yen. Not bad, not bad. So, so tell me about this beginner category. Well, of course, beginner to a uh, sci-fi model, you know, somebody who really hasn't been doing it for very long. Yep. Uh, snap fit with some panel lines, maybe some deco work on there. Yeah. Uh, maybe they take a little bit of gun and marker to it. Yeah. Like me, I'm a beginner, so, sure so whatever I've nubs. done. Yeah, and do, it, do like this guy does. Sans the mistakes. Well, if I did complete them, <laughs> that would be great. All right. So next category. That's the beginner category. Yeah, this is intermediate. Good prizes for the beginner category. Yeah, so well, at this time, I'll start at the third place. Oh, we're counting third. up now. Yes, okay. we're counting up. Third place, up to three kits of a combined value of 6,000 yen. Not bad. Second place, up to three kits of a combined value of 10,000 yen. Wow, that's, that's good. And <laughs> first place, three kits. Up to three kits of a combined value of 15,000 yen. It's like a perfect grade. Yes. For the intermediate category. Yes. Nice. What is an equivalent of a perfect grade and other things? Oh. A big machine in Krieger, maybe. You can get that giant uh, white glint thing that's like yeah. armor core. You get the big Zoid stuff. Oh, there's lots. There's lots of kits that will consume that yes, prize. Absolutely. Fairly quickly. Actually, the SDF1. Yeah. Okay, so what is this intermediate category? Intermediate is people who have been doing it for a while. Yep. You know, they know how to slap some paint on, maybe they do some kit bashing, and uh, maybe they print off their own custom decals, oh, nice. things like that. Yeah. You, you know, people who obviously are not at that beginner stage yet, they want to take it a little bit further. But sweet. not quite as far as our advanced category. Yes, now advanced category prizes are pretty sweet. I'll start with third place. Okay. Up to three kits of a combined value of 10,000 yen. Nice. For third place. For third place. Second place, up to three kits of a combined value of 15,000 yen. Nice. And first place up to a combined value of 20,000 yen. 20,000 yen for our advanced yes. category winner. 20,000 yen. That's a lot of kits. Now, there is one thing. That's three kits. You will only have a certain amount of time to choose your prizes, and mm -hmm. I'm going to send them all at once. So if you choose three kits, I'm, uh, I'm not sending one kit, then one kit, one Yeah, one well, kit. we have to ship together to save yeah, costs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so once you choose your prize, that's it. There's that's no it. swapping, and I don't think that you can, like, hold on to things for too long while we wait for another kid to come in. We're not going to do that. Now, did you tell me about this advanced category? Yeah. Can you explain it to me? Advanced is like, you, you know it when you see it. Yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. Like, this is top quality work, you know, custom made parts, uh, diorama, work with putty, lots of different techniques are used to give off that realistic uh, that look. Mm -hmm. You know, people are appreciating with their airbrush. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. Now, yep. Now, there is one important this rule. This is the most important rule you, everybody needs to remember. Yeah. And we will, we will enforce listen, it strictly. Listen to my voice. 
anyone who enters this competition with a model kit from any other competitions review builds and promotions will be disqualified that's right so if uh, you've uh, entered it into competitions previously and it has appeared on the net or anywhere else and uh, we know about it we're pretty good about these things uh, yeah you're gonna get tossed now if you want I would prefer that you read these terms and conditions so there will be a link under the YouTube video yep. there will be a link on Facebook and on Hobbylink TV yep. please read through this it'll explain to you how do you submit stuff and all the other stuff so you better yeah. read it okay once you uh, are familiar with the rules start building and get the, those entries in these are awesome prizes so we're very excited to see yeah. some incredible work uh, there's another little disclaimer i'm going to throw in sure we reserve the right to move somebody into a different category that's what i wanted to ask you Sid. so so if somebody enters the beginner category with a kit that's obviously not a yeah, beginner no. we're going to put you in the advanced category and judge you accordingly yeah yeah we will you can choose your categories initially yeah but if we think you should yeah. be somewhere else you will be placed there yes Okay, Sid, so um, anything else? Uh, I'm very, very excited yeah. to see what comes out of this competition. And, uh, I wish yeah, I could enter. Yeah, <laughs> but we can't in the terms and conditions. I know. We cannot I read enter. them. But so, uh, <laughs> we got three months, you know, uh, decide what you're going to do, get in your head, and uh, get to work. Yep. Get those nippers out. It's going to be great. So back to our regular back to our regular scheduled program. Sweet. Ryan, you said other than big news, you had something else big to show us? Well, Sid, as you know, and we haven't spoken about it for a while, but I like big, big kits. You do and like things that come in big boxes. Ugh. Look what just came back into back. stock. Yeah. These we're are actually, really popular. We're they actually uh, really so lucky. Uh, when the original kit came out, fine molds, I went really quickly yeah. but we have actually a pretty good working relationships with uh, yeah, the dudes from fine molds yeah, you know yeah. they let us in there and make some video of their uh, factory and uh, through some negotiating we were able to get our hands on several more of these things so and actually the, the pricing price time, is good I, oh yeah yeah the pricing is I mean, really look at, good look at the size of the kit now the reason why i want to talk about this kit yeah. is i recently played the beta for the nice star the wars Republic. yeah the old republic and I was really having fun. Yeah. And I want to build a Millennium Falcon. But this yeah. will take a while. But I will show you a little bit inside. Oh, you got to show us yeah, what's yeah, inside yeah. here. But this is, I love the For box. For people who have not seen yeah, what just the final look at one this. seven second kit consists of. That's just freaking awesome. Yeah, they, they really went all out, even with the yeah. packaging. So, yeah, if you're into Star Wars and you want the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> Here's your, here's your deco guide. <laughs> and look at the size of this beauty. Yeah. Can you imagine that sitting on your desk or next to your bed or over your bed? <laughs> That's right. Or wherever you keep your oh, kits. In your bed. In your you bed. Like Star Wars. Just wrap it in something. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's. I've actually never. Do you want to grab that and open yeah. it up? Pop this baby open. And Fine Molds is a great company and do a bang yeah. up job. Yeah, I, I don't think they've ever put out a bad uh, no. kit, especially the Star Wars stuff. So. Booyah! Yeah, that's Booyah. huge. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this kit, you will need to paint, obviously. Well, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, Actually, uh, of course, the Million Vulcan more or less is one color, right? With the Falcon, so. You'll be able to get in there with your airbrush, spray cans. So I, I want to do this next. That's what I'm thinking. I see how many are left when I finally finish the SDF one. You always just uh, find the biggest thing you can and like drool but I, over I'm it. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, you drool so I'm over extra. The big I'm extra excited about this kit. Yeah, let's, I was glad to uh, put this we somewhere. It back. Yeah. Oh, here's all the some yeah. decals. But yeah. Now, Sid, what are you going to chat about? Uh, actually, I want to show you this uh, this new line of stuff we got the ms garage now this is from a company called keiko yeah and uh i mean basically what they have given you is this uh this hanger like a mecca garage hanger and the cool thing about this is well first of all because it's plenty big you're getting a whole bunch of runners and uh, even a whole bunch of water slide decals with your hanger these are all water slide decals Sweet. you can't uh, see them but they actually give you the diagram here and they tell you where they can go on onto your uh, is hanger. there a particular scale that's the best part about these things 
They are built for one 100 scale and oh. one 144 scale. Oh, nice. So, so we're just uh, swapping some parts around. It can hold your HGs or your MG, one higher, no gray. Now we have a Size few kit. versions of this. Yeah, yeah there is the, uh, there are different colors. So there's a dark green, yeah. a brown, I think there's a black, a gray, and one other color. Okay, cool. We'll show a link on our, our, uh, our, to our site on, after this video, and you'll be able to see for yourself. Now this is just the first wave of them. Wow. And uh, you're getting the five colors, and then, this, then you're going to get into different things. If these are, I'm sure these are going to be pretty successful. I was actually in uh, a Gundam shop in Osaka last weekend, yeah. and uh, these things were moving pretty quickly. Yeah. All the uh, Gundam geeks in uh, Japan, Osaka in particular, couldn't wait to get a hold of these, because they came out just a little bit ahead of the Bandai uh, hangers that, yeah. that are only one 144 scale, that we will be seeing shortly. So if you want to make uh, you know, a little type diorama, I mean, up until now, you can only use those Kotobuki. Yeah, for the, the competition. Candidates. There you yeah. go, diorama. Yeah, you just slap it together, put a gun on there. You just immediately increase the value of your entry. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, we sell a gold on. version that's pure gold. It's, <laughs> it's very expensive, but you would win. Nice. Paint it pure gold, you win. <laughs> okay. So, who's next? I'm going to go next because okay. I just want to talk about the, uh, the real grade. Now, I didn't actually prepare anything new in, the, in terms of kits because this episode we're talking about the, the contest. Yes. However, I did take some time to put the decals and panel lines on this kit. Mm -hmm. Three hours to be exact. I know this because I watched The Godfather while I was doing it. <laughs> oh and, man, uh, come on, you, you have to focus on The Godfather. Well, it can't be like I, I, I can do both, I multitask. <laughs> That's how it is with, with Gundam for My me My eyeballs now. are independent. I can like do it, watch TV, watch a video, surf the internet. So I'm just gonna let it sit here like it is. And you, I've got all the decals on. I've uh, attached the weapons and the beam savers and stuff, and just look at all the detail in there. That is nuts. I'm going to uh, go at it, at it later with the top coat. I'll take it back apart with the top coat when the weather gets better. But for now, like, this has got to be the coolest real grade kit or one 144 scale kit I've ever seen. You got that on tape? Yeah. Two thumbs up, my endorsement. It's kind of amazing when you look at it. Like I was uh, talking about this with coworkers, and uh, they're they don't even think we think in terms of plastic models anymore. When they see these, these are like figures. You yeah, know? absolutely. How they how they go together, but they can move and pose. The shield. And, yeah, it's, it's all great. It's just it's all great. Wow. Yeah. That is. You know, if you're gonna put the decals on this thing, give yourself a few hours. Uh, make sure you watch the Godfather. Rest, rest your eyes. <laughs> and uh, just take your time. Make sure you have tweezers. Yeah. It, uh, it actually works out pretty oh, well. So that is maybe some people will be entering their, uh, their RG Freedom do. in the beginner category just as it is. You know? Or maybe they'll be painting it up and doing the different things. And if you want ideas for the contest, actually go to the photos we took of the most recent Gundam thing. Yeah. And have a look at all the photos, and there's yeah. some incredible work there, and I think that should inspire you. Well, we, we can go back to the uh, previous competition we held. And yes. some of the stuff that was entered for that. But this is sci-fi. Like so, yeah, sci you're, not, you're not limited to Gundam. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't wait to see the machine yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see Black what we'll do with Armored Core. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll be it's awesome. Be great. Or maybe we'll have the, the Gundam versus the, the Armored Core diorama. Like, anything is possible. Zoids. Anything is possible. Yeah. Now, I will show the SDF-1. Yeah. But uh, I'll have to get set up. All right, so give us a few seconds. Yep. More like 10 minutes. So Ryan, it looks like you've done quite a bit of work recently on this thing. Yes, I have, Sid. Yeah, there's some um, parts that I don't come recognize. A, it's come a far way mm -hmm. since we um, fixed these mistakes. Yeah, well, I fixed these mistakes. Good but on you. It's uh, it's looking pretty good. So mm -hmm. yesterday I actually built the legs. All right. Four kinds of plastic. Now actually. is this like the bottom of the legs or the entire leg or? Well, I think it's basically the entire leg. Oh, okay. And it just so it doesn't come in sections the same, mm -hmm. similar to like Gundam legs? No, no. With like knee joints? This is nothing like Gundam. Okay. This is a huge Bells cruiser, you know? Yeah. But yeah, it does have some flexibility. Cool. So, it's going to be big. <laughs> it's already pretty towering. Now... So what are you going to do today is my question. Okay, I'm going to just snap on a few things mm -hmm. and uh, you'll get a better idea of what it's going to look like. Okay. I think in an, probably in two weeks it'll be done. Wow, that's pretty fast. So yeah, no. Once you've assembled all the main parts, you kind of just slap it all together. Yeah. The most complicated bits are these bits, the problems, the areas mm -hmm. I had problems with. But this is going to be interesting. All right. Will this work? May the force be with you. Yeah. 
This is gonna be fun. It looks like the fit is pretty tight there. Yeah. Now, when, when you get this actually in place, will you need to uh, use the screws again? And uh, yeah, yeah, place? yeah. You gotta screw everything together, okay. sadly. Um, it's well, just I've the nature of the beast. Thanks, Sid. I think that's a compliment. Is that the right way around? Well, basically, this piece here, mm -hmm. you have to screw in. Yeah. But yeah, that's basically... This is, so this is the torso and the, the legs as well? Yep. Yeah. And this guy. Uh. All right. So that seems so far. I'm going to just leave that out for now. Mm -hmm. There's actually a screw in here, and you've got uh, to screw it yeah. into there. But... Now, does this thing have a head? It does have a head. It has even... There we go. So, as you can see, this stuff all moves around when it needs to oh, transform. Wow. And, uh, That's cool. Yeah. So I've basically got a screw them together mm -hmm. over here. But uh, as you will see here on this image here, like he's also going to have these huge things at the back. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't even... Does it look like he has a head? Not really. Nope. It's just like a little control no center head. there. No knees. No knees, no head. And then you still got to make these uh, lower parts for the arms. Yeah. But after that, it's just done and then putting on all the decals. Wow. But you know what? I've had so much fun with this guy. Mm -hmm. Like just building it. Okay. It's, uh, it's just cool. Well, now that you've had some time with this, yeah. what level do you think someone should be to build something like this? I mean, if, if, it's they, a good question. if oh. they've never touched the plastic model kit before, would you recommend they try something like this? No. No? But if you like kind of engineering mm -hmm. and stuff and uh, screwing things together, yeah. this is a great kit. Okay. So you don't necessarily have to be a modeler to enjoy the SDF one? Not at all. And uh, I think for its price, I think it's yeah. just over Ichiman, it's great. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine when it's done, it's going to be huge. Yeah. And just the quality, like you were playing with it before. Yeah. And I, just I the quality. Yeah. It's solid. That's yeah, one thing it I noticed. Is solid. It's really solid. Yeah. And when you build the snap fit kits, you, you know, you get them together, but there's still that feeling that I'm playing with a toy. Yeah. Uh, this thing could break at any time. But uh, when I was messing around with this thing, I never had that, yeah, that it's, feeling. It's, it's, it's really well engineered. Unlike you, if I wasn't really concentrating when I was mm. building parts of these, and that's when I made mistakes. Uh, yeah. Like, you have to focus on... Like, even though there's left and right, mm. like, these legs each assemble slightly differently internally. Oh, okay. And... Um, yeah, so you just, you have to really be paying attention. Things don't just duplicate. But yeah, I'm happy So you think in so a couple weeks you're going to be done the SDF one? Absolutely. And then you're already thinking of Falcon? I am, but... But I think uh, back when we were at the uh, hobby show there... <sighs> Videos coming back to home. Yeah, that's me. right. You were all schoolgirl happy about the uh, full armor unicorn. School and you said you wanted happy? to build that. Will you be, have time to build the full armor unicorn? Well, if certainly if I set it on video... As God is my witness, I will not. <laughs> <laughs> if I said it on video, I have to say the opposite on video. No, no, okay. um, but, I, and, but I would need some help. So I was hoping you could, uh, we could... We could team up and team up. conquer the A team build. Here. Well, here's my idea, you know. I've already built the, uh, the unicorn. Yes, you have. So uh, I would throw the unicorn your way, mm -hmm. and I would build all those boosters slash Sweet. weapons slash everything else. That sounds like yeah. a plan, Stan. And then we wouldn't, when it comes in, we would have it done fairly quickly and we could show everybody like right away. So I'd be there. That's the plan. I will build a Gundam yeah. on Gunpla TV. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be good. I can't wait. Yes. And uh, it's, today is the 1st of December while we're filming this. Yes. And we do not yet have Bandai's release schedule, but yep. they will be post posting it very soon. So we will be able to give you uh, a date for when we should be showing the uh, Armour Unicorn. And once yeah. we know, we'll let you know. But and Sid, will it be as good as this? Depends how you approach it. That is true. It transforms. It does? Yeah, the unicorn transforms. Are you lying? Nope. Well, okay. It goes from unicorn mode to destroy mode. It goes to stool. <laughs> so uh, you might like it. Okay, cool. Well, I'm excited and right. uh, I'll be doing Gundam then. Okay, sounds good. So uh, please read the rules and regulations to our contest. Yes, and we do have some user questions. Yeah. We have some easy questions. Yes, so, and if you won this contest, you could actually get one of these. If you want that for your prize. Yeah. Let's see which category. 
could win it. Second place in intermediate, maybe, or uh, second and first and first in intermediate and advanced. So, you know. Prizes, prizes, prizes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's uh, do some questions. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Would Sid try to custom a Gundam based on Kamen Rider? Uh, you know, I actually saw two examples on the internet. Somebody, I think, did their uh, Musha Mark II Gundam. Yeah. As like the Fang Joker yeah. colors. And then somebody else did a unicorn yeah, as a Kamen Rider, complete with guitar, if I'm remembering properly. And it looked really cool. I think I remember that. Yeah, one. it did look really cool. And uh, I think that I probably won't do it because I can't do justice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to watch a little bit more Kamen Rider before. Uh, before I would well, green and black like and a scarf. Just wrap a scarf around. Just make it forze and put some orange here or yeah. whatever. I don't know. Okay. I probably would not do it unless I felt a sudden flash of inspiration. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Next Thank from uh, Sutton 629. Mm -hmm. That was from Tendo 1994. Okay. Any chance Bandai will do an MG Dendro biome? Not at all. Well, never say never. So maybe the chances of that happening are slim to none. Uh, that as an HG kit is enormous. We've shown the box in the show before. Yeah. It's just huge. As an MG, I, I, like what the box would be as big as the table. I don't, I don't see it happening because the market for that and the price point for that would be so high. Yeah. It, and I wouldn't probably not make any money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next from Silver World Enter. Any mm -hmm. chance you guys know if the Master Grade line is doing well? It would be a shame to see less and less Master Grade kits mm -hmm. because they are brilliant. But you spoke about this last week, I think. Yeah, uh, Bandai announced uh, not so long ago that they're actually scaling back a bit on the Master Grade line. Mm -hmm. I shame. think what they did was they kickstarted the Master Grade line back when Japan's economy was on the up and up, and people had a lot of extra money. And things that was that, twenty years. Ago. <laughs> that was thirty years ago, and things have changed, and uh, the economy is not doing so well. People don't have as much pocket change, and if they do, they might not want to drop 5,000 yen on a Master Grade kit. Bandai is not eliminating the line, of course. Like, we're still going to see the, the full armor unicorn in December, uh, the, uh, not the sand rock, what is it? Heavy arms in January. You know, they're still coming. It's just, I imagine, we're not going to see them as frequently as we did before. And they've got the real grade line to focus on, too. Yeah, so. oh, they have a lot of lines. Yeah. And, of course, everybody wants another perfect grade, so they're going to work on it. Happy Thanksgiving, Yay. even if it's kind of late. Sid, in Canada, do you do Thanksgiving? We do, but it, it happens in October, not November. So? So the November weekend is actually our Remembrance Day. Oh. We have no Remembrance Day in November, and we have Thanksgiving in October. I have no idea about Thanksgiving. I understand some settlers were starving and Indians <laughs> helped them. Did that happen in Canada? Uh, kind <laughs> of, but not quite. It's a little bit different. <laughs> Like, hey, you have something we want. Oh, okay. Here, have some yeah, of these take birds some copper that are uh, have the plague. So it wasn't <laughs> like sell Manhattan. It's kind no, of, nothing no, like that. Oh, okay, cool. Like yeah, I mean, in Australia, we don't do Thanksgiving, but we do eat turkey on Christmas. Oh, well, that's universal, I think. Yeah. Or global, anyway. Who knows about the universe? Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, no! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Please don't tell me there is another PS3 exclusive Gundam game. Why do us Xbox 360 owners only get DW Gundam? Uh, well, that would be because uh, Xbox 360 is an American company and uh, Sony is a uh, Japanese company and the Japanese fanboys here who love their Gundam, you know, there's already a huge market here. You know, it takes a while for Sony to actually make the Gundam game and then uh, we get ready to export it in the American version and stuff like that. So Xbox, who doesn't really develop any games over here, you know, I don't see why they would do a Gundam game. As you're talking about uh, Gundam games, uh, we might have a promotion at some time with the company that does um, free-to-play games. Yeah. So, yeah, we but we'll that. fill you in about that later. Yeah. Next question: uh, Is it wearing a New Era cap? Nice. It was a New Era cap. It was my Houston Astros New Era cap. How I bought that know? way back when it was the Killer Bees, baby. You know, Biggio, Bagwell, Berkman, and nobody knows what I'm talking about, so I'm gonna stop. Yeah, I'm but what? that cap and me have been through a lot together. That's a baseball? That's a baseball team. Okay, cool. Yeah. AL. Let's ignore that one. <laughs> uh, I, hi, loving the show and would like to ask a quick question. Okay. As they have been remaking Gundam Wing in Master Grade, have you seen anything about a new Master Grade Tall Geese? Yeah, that's the big speculation. And uh, this question, of course, is being asked all over the internet. Oh. Uh, tall yeah, Geese, the... for some reason, Tall Geese seems to be the much loved, most popular suit from that entire anime. Yeah. 
and uh, everybody's waiting because it hasn't come out as a master rate at all. And we've okay. seen two versions of the wing so far, at least, but we have not seen any tall geese. Okay. And uh, I think Bandai is eventually building towards that, but I think their plan is to release the tall geese last. Oh, you know, look at all the other uh, okay. master rate versions of all the other suits out of the way, and then they'll release the tall geese, and then they'll be done with wing, and then move on to their next thing. But don't. Don't think that because I said it's going to happen. That's what yeah, I think. Just, that's his opinion. Yeah. But uh, there are enough people are clamoring for a, for a tall geese that it would surprise me if we do not see it. Yep. There's kind of a second part to this. Also, if you have seen anything, will you be able to make the different marks, one, two, and three, like the old kids? Oh, it's just different uh, different markings okay. for the tall geese. And okay. I imagine if Bandai is going to make the tall geese, they'll include enough, as a master, oh, yeah, yeah, they'll course. include enough markings that you can make it whatever you want. Yeah, you you know, when they did the jinx, crazy. you could uh, slap any different numbers on it. They give you a whole series of numbers and you chose which one you wanted. But uh, if they do tall geese, they're probably going to do it right. You'll probably be able to slap the mark. Yeah, Bandai is, Bandai is good like yeah. that. Uh, for example, on the uh, RG Freedom, they actually gave you uh, two sets of markings. Mm -hmm. So you could make it as Kira's suit or you could make it as the other suit. So there's extra markings just in the real grid. So wow. don't, it shouldn't surprise anybody. And you can always probably geese. buy off the market. Uh, their aftermarket decals, there's plenty of pieces up, yeah. places out there. And I might put them up, but we don't know yet. Okay, final question. Hi guys, love episode 60. Hope to see Ryan's finished product soon. So do I, mate. Anyway, got a question. Remember you said HRJ can't ship paint for overseas customers. Mm. What about Gundam markers? We can. Gundam markers are under a different class than paint because Gundam markers, for the most part, are water-based. Okay. So they have a different HS code. And they are able to clear customs regulated without problem. What about putty? Putty is hit or miss depending on customs of the country. Yep. Is this a petroleum or something? Is that uh, right? see, Generally, I work in wholesale and yeah. I have to ship lots of volume and things like that. But basically, if it shows up on our site it, so that you can purchase it, you should be able to get it into your country. Yes. But that is not always the case because some countries are pretty particular about mm. what is safe and what is not safe. For example, I had a, comp a country recently test the tire for a model, plastic model car kit, and the compound of that tire was not deemed safe. Mm. And that entire kit got stopped. But uh, you know, you have to know your country and your customs, yeah. regulations and things like that. But if it shows up on our site, it should not be a problem. Yep. Now the final one is mock set and softener. I would think maybe not, No, it's a I liquid. Uh, because it's liquid and it's flammable, we had problems with it recently and we had to stop. Okay. So it might not, I don't even know if we have it on our site anymore. I think these days just anything flammable is a big no-no. Yeah, they're, they're really, really careful, especially in Japan. And yeah. they're leaving. If it's gonna, gonna, if it's going to go on an airplane and it's flammable, it needs material safety data sheets and all these other things, which become quite costly. Yeah. So, so yes, beware. Yeah. But uh, that's it, Sid. All right. Good, I hope we answered everybody's questions. Yeah, and please read the terms and conditions of the sci-fi competition. Important. Yes. And the links will all be everywhere, mm -hmm. so have a look. And uh, yeah. we're excited. I am very excited. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And uh, I'm just interested to see what people choose for prizes. I'm interested to see the sci-fi you get? Oh, is it going to be mostly Gundam? I don't know. Well, people, Gundam generally the place to start when it comes mm. to the sci-fi model. But after you expand into everything else, like... One thing to keep in mind, like, I think Seth and I would agree that we love something original. Yeah. So if you can do original stuff... Just do your best, that's all yeah. I ask. Don't worry about what I may or may not like. I am one of the judges, by the way. But don't worry about what I may or may not I'm like. Judge too. Just do your best at whatever you want to do. I don't know Submit. what's good. <laughs> you heard it here first. You, you could possibly win, even if you suck, because Ryan doesn't know what's good. But Brian, as well, from... Uh, Boss Bulls will be a judge as well, and he has a keen eye for yeah. paint and stuff. So, and there might be some other judges as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah. All right. So we will be back to our regular scheduled programming starting next week. Oh, we will. Yes. And uh, if there's any more questions people have about the contest, be sure to write them in, and we will answer them on the show as well as in text. Yes. But please read the terms and conditions before you email us. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank We're you. Done. Thank you, sir. See you later. Thanks, guys.